We are Tottenham TV back here for a performance tier list where we're going to be looking at the month of March. Yes, I know we're a bit late and we're already a game into April, but better late than never, as a wise man once said. We're going to look at the four games that we did play in March. Crystal Palace at home, a 3-1 victory, 4-0 away at Aston Villa, a 3-0 damaging defeat at Fulham and a 2-1 win over Luton. We're going to average out our player ratings over the month and see where each individual player does fit in the way it works is if you haven't had enough time you go into can't judge zero to 4.9 you go into awful five to 5.4 you go into not good um one second 5.5 to 6.4 you go into okay 6.5 to 6.9 you go into good seven to 7.4 you go into very good and anything above goes into excellent so um yeah let's let's get this cracking let's crack on so falls first player the first player is Vicario. Um, Vicario, I think, um, had a fairly good month. I think he had a really good season. I'll probably say he will go into, I'll say very good, maybe. Well, we've each given him four sevens, so it's a seven. Yeah, so, so very good. In, so it goes into very good. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a weird one. I don't think he's had, apart from like maybe the Fulham game, we had to make a lot of saves in all the other games. I actually don't think he's been that worked too much. He has mm. made crucial saves at crucial times, but yeah. it's been one of those months where he's just made a few saves, but hasn't actually um, had too much of an impact on the games. Yeah. All right, moving on. We have Oli Skip up next. I mean, I don't think he's played a minute, has he? Well, we haven't given him a rating, so yeah. uh, he's had zero ratings from us this month. Yeah, I, I can't think of it. Maybe, maybe he came on against Palace for late on, but I can't remember. I don't yeah, think whatever doing. happens, he goes into can't judge anyway. That's for sure. So, Ollie Skip goes into can't judge. Next up is Emerson Royale. I imagine he goes into can't judge as well. But he started one game, didn't one he? One game at home to Palace, which we both gave him a seven for because he actually had a pretty good game. But other than that, yeah, he hasn't played um, a minute. So we're putting him to very good then. Very good. Emerson Royale. Uh, <laughs> not for one game. Yeah, I mean, he did play. So I guess, I don't know, did he deserve to be judged on that one game? If it was Hyung Min Son, what would we, do? what would we be doing? Very good. <laughs> exactly. So I think he has to go into very good. All right. Very good for um, Emerson. Emerson Royale uh, goes from can't judge into very good. Next up is my boy, Brennan Johnson, um, who's had a sensational month. Um, how many goals and assists has he got this month? So we got one assist against um, Palace, a goal against Villa, and two assists against Luton. So um, three assists and a goal wow. this month. Excellent. And he has a 7.5 average rating. So he does go into excellent. He got uh, two nines, an eight, and a four against Fulham. Unfortunately, uh, everyone's um, ratings are going to be dragged down a bit by that Fulham game. But um, yeah, brilliant month for Brendan Johnson's really started to perform consistently now. So delight for him and deserves that rating. Yeah, and he even got on the score sheet for Wales as well during that mm. month, um, which, you know, we're not going to judge him on, obviously. But um, yeah, he's a man on fire at the moment, that's for sure. But let's move on to Fraser Forster. Hasn't played a minute. He's been injured as well, uh, so he goes into can't judge. Um, next up after that is Destiny Udogi. Um, I think it's bit, been a bit of a mixed bag for Udogi this month, hasn't it? I would say maybe he goes into good, I would say. 6.3. 6.3. Wow, he goes into okay, actually. That must be his first okay for uh, uh, Destiny. You gave him an average of a 6. I gave him an average of a 6.5. Mm. So um, you were a bit harsher on him, I guess. Uh, but... Uh, two, if it was you I, alone, he would just sneak into good. I gave him a seven against uh, Palace, a nine against Villa, four against Fulham, and a six against Luton. Uh, you gave him six, eight, four, six. So you were just sl slightly bit harsher mm. on him. But yeah, I don't, I don't think he's been at his best. I thought that Villa game, he was brilliant, though. Um, and I did think he was quite good against West Ham as well. But yeah, obviously, we're not rating him on that. So it wasn't his best month. Yeah. All right, next up, we have got Mickey van der Ven. He has been injured, so he didn't play the Fulham game. He didn't play the Luton game. He was on the bench for that one, but did play against Aston Villa and Crystal Palace. Albeit, he did go off injured, didn't he, in, in that game against Aston Villa just after half time. So it's not much of a sample size, but I'll probably say he goes into very good. 8.5. Eight point four. Excellent. So it goes into excellent because uh, obviously he got a nine. Uh, we uh, both gave him a nine against Palace, and sorry, I gave him an eight against Palace. You gave him a nine, and then I gave him a nine against Villa. You gave him an eight. So a uh, really good couple of performances from Van der Ven. It was really great to see him back at West Ham as well. Um, but yeah, I think when he's been on the pitch for uh, unfortunately it was only a game and a half, but 
really good, really good when he was on the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the star performers of the season. Do you think? I mean, you do have Hyungmin Son there, but do you think he's got a shout for Player of the Year this year for Spurs? I think he's got a very big shout. Yeah, because he has so been consistent. he has been missing for a lot of the season, a big mm. chunk of the season. Then you've got the likes of Hyungmin Son, Kuti Romero, uh, Pedro Porro, potentially even. Like, I think probably because he missed that big chunk of the season, probably he won't get it. Maybe not, but I think he's got a shout. Mm. Next up is Ben Davis. Ben Davis hasn't played a minute this month, so he goes into can't judge. Um, who do we have next? Ben Tancor. Yeah, Rodrigo Ben Tancor. Um, as well, he hasn't played too much, Rodrigo, but he came in, he, I think it was his first start against West Ham, wasn't it? And that's not in this month, so it's just cameo performances since then. We, we gave him, we started against Palace. Oh, right. Uh, so we gave him three ratings. Um, I'll probably say he goes into OK. 6.7. 6.7. Oh, he goes into good. Goes into good. Um, I, I, I think he's been a bit, a bit, this month he was a bit better, to be Yeah, honest. but it does surprise me that um, he goes above a doggy. Mm, that is a bit surprising. Obviously, he has had less time. Palace, we didn't give him that great rating, both sixes, but I gave, we both gave him sevens for his cameo against Fulham. And then his cameo against Luton, he was very good against Luton, uh, where I gave him an eight, you gave him a seven. So that boosted him up a bit. I mm. thought he had some good cameo appearances. He has. He seems to be getting better and better. Obviously, um, the best spell was the first 20 minutes against West Ham in, in this current month, but uh, we're not rating him on that. But Next is Pup Mate Saar. Uh, Pup has played nine minutes against Crystal Palace, 70 minutes against Villa, 65 minutes against Fulham, 67 minutes against Luton. And I think more or less he's been really good this month, bar the Fulham game. So that probably brings down his rating um, a bit. So I'll probably say he goes into good. Well, 6.3, but it is very harshly judged because I gave him a three against Fulham. And you gave him a four. The other games, he got an eight and a seven. Yeah. Or a nine and a seven even. So um, it is harsh, but look, he did he did have a bad game against Fulham. What can we say? So he goes into OK. He goes into OK. I feel, I feel harsh uh, doing Yeah, I that. mean, it is harsh with him and Udogi being below Bentancor when Bentancor's just had like... Uh, cameo appearances and the one game he did start we're judging that about, about how they played when they're on the pitch yeah. but I guess he had a great game against Villa I thought Saar um, I think Saar has been better than Bentancor in that month in my personal opinion mm. do you not agree well then take up with our ratings <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just that one game doesn't it that drags him down massively well look we'll put him in okay we can assess it at the end uh, Manuel Solomon up next. He hasn't played at all, obviously been injured, so he goes into can't judge. After that, it is Pedro Porro. Um, I would probably say Pedro Porro goes into, uh, I'm not sure, between good and very good. I'll probably side with good. 6.5. 6.5, yeah, Another just about one who good. suffers again for that Fulham game. He got, for me, he got, for you, sorry, he got two eights and a four. And then for me, he got an eight, a seven and a four. Um, so that Fulham game really taking down his rating mm. from what would have been a very good month to just a good one. This is like a common theme, isn't it, mm. uh, of this <laughs> this um, this month? Um, we've got Brennan Johnson on there twice, so we can skip past him as Deki uh, Dejan Kulisevsky up next, um, who I don't think has had a good month. To be fair, I'll probably say he goes into not good. Deki uh, six point one. Ooh, All right, on the upper ends of okay, just about okay. You gave him a 6844, and I gave him an 8856. 8856. So, did we give him an 8 on the same week? Yeah. What game was that? That was Villa. Villa away, yeah. yeah. He had a very good game there. Um, against Palace, I think I gave him an 8, you gave him a 6. Um, and then the other two games, uh, you gave him a 4 in both Fulham away and Luton away. I gave him a 5 and a 6. Okay. So I actually averaged him a 6.8 and you averaged him a 5.5. So it was a big difference there. Yeah. But it goes in 6.1. I know we've had, a, we've had a few disagreements on the player ratings on Dejan Kulisevsky this month, the last mm. month, didn't we? Um, and again this month, to be fair. But uh, let's move on to Ryan Sessnion. Obviously, he hasn't played, so he goes into can't judge. Uh, after that is Giovanni Lo Celso. I mean, how much has, did he play in March? Uh, we gave him one rating, and that was his cameo against Luton. He did get a seven. It was a good cameo. Um, he hasn't played other than that, really. He actually did come on against Fulham as well, and um, we didn't give him a rating for it. I actually thought it was quite a good cameo from mm -hmm. him. Um, but, yeah, that was we only gave him one rating. So Gio goes into very good. Very good. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. Well, 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 this is, wasn't even a start. This is like 20 minutes he's played. Yeah. He goes into very, very good month for just 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so Giovanni goes into very good. Next up is Cuti Romero. Um, I think Romero's had a good month, so I'll probably say he's in very good. 7.3. Yeah. So, yeah, very good month for him. Um, nine against Palace, seven against Villa, six against Fulham, and seven against Luton. I actually gave him um, an eight against uh, Villa, but a five against Fulham, so average out the same. Mm. 7.3. Maybe should be an excellent because I thought he's had a, he's had a really great month. But, um, yeah, that Fulham game again. Yeah. Coming back to haunt us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's just been a consistent theme uh, with this tier list. But next up is Turbo Timo. Um, fairly good month. A bit up and down, a bit frustrating as well. I'll probably say he goes into good. Also, he got a goal against Villa and a goal against Palace. Um, he goes in 6.4. Ooh, okay. On, the, okay. on the cusp of okay. Again, that uh, you gave him a three against um, Fulham. That probably cost him. Um, what did you give him against Fulham? Five. Mm. Uh, he got eight. I gave him eight, seven, five, seven. You gave him eight, seven, three, six. So... Uh, you gave him an average of a 6, I gave him an average of a 6.8, so he only goes into OK for Timo Werner. All right, Brian Hill up next. Obviously can't judge. I don't think he's played a minute uh, that in the entire month. Next is James Madison. Um, I don't think he's going to be rated that highly. I'll probably say he just about sneaks into good. 6, average of a 6. 6, OK. Only OK. Um well. Uh, That's got to be his lowest. I gave by far. him seven eight four six. You gave him seven eight three five. So similar. You gave him a bit lower, five point eight. I average him a six point three. So yeah, definitely his lowest month, and yeah, a lot of people saying he's in poor form, and uh, that's that's probably his poorest uh, performance on the tier list. That's for yeah. sure. Don't worry, next month he'll be right back at the top again. Uh, Richarlison up next. Uh, he didn't play. He didn't play. Oh, he's been injured yeah mm -hmm. this month, so he goes into can't judge. Eve Bissouma, um, this is going to be a, a damning one, I think. I think he's going to go into either OK or not good. I'm not too sure. 6.1. 6.1 to OK. Actually, he's had a pretty good month. Um, What's his rating been? 8.737 for me, 7.737 seven, seven for you. Mm. So, I mean... If it wasn't for that Luton game, he probably goes into good. You mean the uh, Fulham game? The yeah. Fulham game, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I, I think it's a sign of performances improving. All as right. much as he goes into uh, OK. Um, all right, Yves Basuma goes into o OK, was it? Yeah. yeah. Um, next up is Hyung Min Son. I mean, to be honest, he should be in excellent, but I think we've put him in very good, haven't we? 7.3. 7.3, yeah. So just about very good. Again, um, 8, 9, 4, 8 for, uh, for me. And uh, for you, it was, yeah, same, 8, 9, 4, 8. Gave him the same rating. Which is mad where he's the only one of our players up for Premier League Player of the Month and he's not the best player that we've rated. Yeah, again, he got because we gave him a 4 out of 10 against uh, Fulham. Um, the other games, he was actually been performing very, very highly. So I think he's very unlucky not to, uh, not to make it into excellent. All right, next up is Radu Dragushin. Uh, Aston Villa, he came on for the injured Mickey van der Ven, then played against Fulham and played against Luton as well. I think I remember I rated him bad, very poorly for the Fulham and Luton game, but I think rated him highly for the Aston Villa game. So he probably averages out to being OK. Six. Average exactly a six. Yeah, so OK. Goes into OK. Uh, you gave him seven, four and six. I gave him eight, five and six. Mm. So I was slightly higher than you on Dragosheen. And last but not least is Pierre Emohoibia. I mean, he's only had cameo appearances, but have we given him ratings? Pierre, um, he again won game. And this was a cameo against Villa, which he actually came on and did really well. We gave him a seven. Um, hasn't had too many other games other than that. He did come on against Luton, I remember. But um, that was it, really. So we're, what we're saying, we're putting Hoybier in good, in very good. That's the rules. <laughs> All right, Hoybier goes into very good. I think it's quite telling that um, the majority of these guys, or at least half of the guys in very good, are just guys that have come on and had cameo appearances and we're just judging them on one game. Mm. Yeah, I think, obviously, yeah, a Fulham game, obviously. Look, it was really bad, let's be honest. The Fulham yeah. performance was terrible. So I don't think you can just completely discount that um, from everyone's rating. But I do think... Oh, I think, oh, well, we've got Valise in excellent, is it? Um, oh, that's Brendan Johnson and Mickey van der Ven. I think, yeah, anyway. Um, so we've got 
I think it's fair for the excellence. Very good, I think, obviously. Um, Emerson, Lo Celso, and Hoybier probably shouldn't be there. Yeah. Um, I think... Um, I think, what's it called? If we were to Son drop... Son should... Uh, and Romero probably should be bumped up one hour, I think. Yeah, I think if we were to drop Emerson... Um, if you bring that to If we were to drop Emerson... Hoybier and uh, Lo Celso into Can't Judge. I think it's only fair to put them there because they just, they just okay, haven't had so enough time. So let's put them into Can't Judge then. We can drop them down. Yeah, if you drop those three... Um, Emerson. So there's the second one and the third and the last one on Very Good. If you drop them down to Can't Judge. And Hoybier. Yeah, so they and Can't Judge. I think Sonny needs to be bumped up one to Excellent. And I think that's probably fair. Yeah, I think that that makes a bit more sense. So let's uh, let's run through this uh, tier list. So in can't judge, you've got Ben Davis, Emerson Royale, uh, Pierre Emohoibier, Giovanni Lo Celso, Fraser Forster, Ben Davis, Manuel Solomon, Ryan Sessegnon, Brian Hill, and Richarlison. In OK, you've got Odogi, Bissouma, um, Kulisevsky, Werner, Madison, um, Bissouma. Yeah. Dragushin. And Dragushin. In good, you've got Ben Tancor and Poro. Poro. In very good, you've got Vicario Romero. And then in excellent, you've got Brennan, Van der Ven, and Son. And I think that's a fair reflection on, on this month. And I, it's actually good to see that we've got no one in awful and not good. Yeah, because I look, I don't think we have, apart from the Fulham game, I think we've actually not been, pre- not been bad. I thought Palace was a good performance. We deserved to win that. Villa was obviously excellent. And then Luton, I thought we deserved to win that one as well. I thought we played quite well. So... There does seem a bit of a narrative, especially after West Ham game, that we're not playing very well, but I don't think that is totally the case. What's been interesting as well in this month, when you look at previous months, we've been leaking goals left, right and centre. In this month of March, we've actually been quite defensively solid. In that Crystal Palace game, we only conceded by a free kick and we didn't really look like conceding for the whole game. Villa, we kept a clean sheet. Uh, Fulham, obviously, was terrible. And then Luton, we didn't really look like conceding for the much of apart from the that goal in the second minute we didn't look like conceding the rest of that game either yeah no yeah no, um and i think um no surprise that when van der ven was on the pitch that's when we looked our most defensively yeah. solid same i think happened against west ham so van der ven makes a big difference to our back line that's for sure yeah absolutely so that is your tier list for the month oh if we got player of the month oh player of the month uh, uh we're down here but the um the player of the month does go to van der ven van der ven wow 8.5 I actually think player of the month should go to Brendan Johnson. Well, Van der Ven only played a game and a half. So That's if you're playing saying, anyone yeah. two games or more, <laughs> um, then it go, does go to so Brendan. Van der Ven should actually go into Can't Judge then. <laughs> no, no. You were judging Van der Ven. Um, so Brennan Johnson then would get player of the month uh, at 7.5. Yeah, I think that's that's fair. Um it's, it's a shame that he's not up for player of the month in the Premier League this year, this this month, because, mm. you know, Sonny does deserve to be there. But I think Brendan Johnson deserves to be there as well. I think he's been that good. Yeah, I agree. So uh, but anyway, Brendan Johnson gets our player of the month. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with that player of the month? Do you agree with these tiers? Um, and we'll see you again for another episode of this at the end of April, where we get to uh, rank some quite big games. Mm. So uh, thank you, everyone, for watching us today. Like, subscribe and comment. And as always, come, come on, on